A 22 News follow-up to Tuesday night's snowmobile crash involving a Black Hawk helicopter in Worthington. 22 News reporter Taylor Knight went back to Worthington to find out how an accident like this could happen. The helicopter landed on a runway behind me here in Worthington around 7 o'clock on Tuesday night, a short while after a snowmobile hit it. The runway here, part of a popular snowmobile trail through town. So we have a lot of trails. They take good care of the trails here in Worthington. One man is recovering after his snowmobile ran into the rear of a grounded Black Hawk helicopter in Worthington Tuesday night. The helicopter was from Fort Drum Army Base in upstate New York, doing routine training when it landed on the runway at Albert Farms Airport, according to Fort Drum spokeswoman Julie Halpin. I haven't seen anyone land there in quite a while. Aida Albert, part of the Albert family that once owned this private airstrip, told 22 News that the runway is still operational, but it's mostly used for aircraft emergencies and snowmobilers. In the winter, it becomes a snowmobiler's paradise, and, um, you know, it's just something out of the blue that happened. We've never had any uh, fatalities on that runway. The runway here is part of a designated snowmobile trail that runs through town. There are posts along the airstrip marking the trail. Well, these trails will hook up. I think they can travel all the way to Vermont and up that way if follow them, Greylock. Yeah, it's, it's quite a big trail system we have. People in town told 22 News the runway is also a popular place for people to walk their dogs, and this was just a terrible accident. Now for that helicopter, it did have permission to land here, according to Fort Drum Public Affairs. In Worthington, Taylor Knight, 22 News.